So I feel like if you're watching this video, then you're probably here because you too want to exit that lazy girl era. And you may be in a rut, you may be trying to find out exactly what the hell you're doing with your life and you cannot decipher what that thing is. And that's exactly where I'm at in life. <laughs> So here we are. I'm back. I know it's been a while. If this is your first time here on my channel, hello. My name is Samiris, like a mirror on the wall, but with an S. This video is going to be all about my life in 2024 because today makes three months since I posted my last video and it is April 1st. Today is April 1st. It won't be April 1st by the time this video goes up. However, this is what's going on in my life right now. I'm 28 years old. I have two children. One nine, one is a one year old, and I have been extremely confused about life. Throughout this video, I want to make sure I am using the correct verbiage because a lot of the times you're not confused, you're simply just distracted. So I won't even say that I'm confused, I will say that I have been distracted. So I have my notes right here in front of me on my computer, and so I'm gonna go down the list of things. I won't keep you here long, but this video will be more of a chatting type, you know, chit chat flow. So let's just go ahead and take a deep dive into my business because that's what you're here for. A lot of you found my channel through my esthetician vlogs. If you don't know, I started aesthetic school back in September of 2023. I literally have nine weeks to complete. I am a senior. I am done with all of my book work. The only thing for me to do at school is take clients and help my fellow students, the freshmen, juniors, sophomores. I decided to take a leave. Here's why. And I know it's crazy because like, girl, you only had nine weeks left. Why would you take a break? The thing about life and the thing about you as an individual, no one can tell you what's going to work best for you. And that's something that I had to accept because I was asking all of my peers, like, dang, like, what should I do? But I had to sit with myself and think about my own problems and what is my life looking like right now? And based off all of the noise and the stuff behind the curtain that the people don't see, it was becoming too much for me to balance with school, being a mom, and trying to dive into my full-time creativity. It just got to a point where it just, it became too much. I was not going to school with really good energy. I started missing days here and there, and I was feeling pressured. It no longer became a passion of mine anymore. I was no longer passionate about waking up and going to school. And that's when I also got the encouragement that if putting a pause on this right now will prevent you from losing your sanity, then that's what you should do. I didn't quit or give up. It had nothing to do with my classmates. I love them dearly. I miss them every single day. It had nothing to do with my instructor or the school itself. I miss my instructor and I love her dearly. It's just, it was not in the cards for me at this time. So I had to take a break from that. And in life, you're going to have to take a break from some things, take a break from some people, be it a relationship, friendship, whatever it is. And if you lose people along the way, then that will also let you know if those people were meant to be in your life. That's the biggest bummer of my life lately because I just, it, it introduced a lot to me. I met great people. I learned a lot about myself. I was reminded a lot about myself. So it's not a goodbye, but it is a I'll see you later. I don't have an exact date right now of when I will be returning, but I have to finish where I started. So I probably won't touch on that topic again because it is extremely sensitive. It does make me sad and emotional, but I did owe it to you to update you on that because that's probably why you're here. Now let's get into the next update. The next update is my gut health journey. This is not my first time going on a gut healing journey. So I was diagnosed with gastritis before. And if you don't know, I'll put a little definition right here on the screen of what gastritis is. That is going to be a separate video. I am about to embark on my gut healing journey. And I'm taking you along with me on that. So just stick around for it. When you start to feel sick every time you eat something and you're not pregnant or you start to have random anxiety attacks, just know something's going wrong in your stomach or your body, period. A lot of the time, though, from experience, it's the gut. When this, when the gut and this is not connected, when they're not connected and they're not balanced, 
something's going to go wrong and your body is going to let you know. So I had to accept and stop fighting the fact that Miris, your stomach is blowing nuts right now. Buku crazy. We're going to have to do something about it. Because I've already gone through this and I am not a beginner at gut healing or healing my mental, it is going to be easy for me to start the journey. However, so much noise has been going on in my life, y'all, that I've just been completely distracted on doing the stuff that really needs to be done, like the stuff that really matters. Like before I go into the wrong direction, because I've been super stressed out, because I have not been taking care of myself as far as what I'm putting into my body, my body is letting me know get it together because you think you're gonna have a glass of wine but really you you about to be sick you about to be feeling sick i cannot tell y'all how important it is enough to be careful what you put into your body and it's not like i was just being a pig and just eating whatever comes to my plate it's not that but i was taking in more things that i knew that i should not be i do have a sensitivity to tomatoes but i eat pizza all the time I definitely have an intolerance for dairy, but I eat cheese often. Give me a cheese Danish warm from Starbucks any day and I will devour it. And it came out of habit and convenience because it's like with the school and you're a full-time student, you're a full-time mom of two kids. It's like, I don't feel like cooking. And you have personal like relationship stuff, you know, family stuff, different things going on. It's like, so you're going for convenience. So while you're swallowing all this convenience, you're putting nothing but bad bacteria in your stomach and eventually the fatigue, the anxiety, the brain fog, lack of attention, lack of motivation, all of the things comes from a poor gut microbiome. So I am starting my gut healing journey and I'm going to take you along with me because if you are feeling these symptoms like anything that I just named, more than likely, more times than none, you have something going on in your gut and we can go on this journey together. It's not hard when you have an accountability partner and allow me to be that for you. At this point, being 28, it's just like, what do I have to lose other than my damn self? Like, and we're not doing that. Like, I'm not losing myself. So it's okay to not be okay, but you have to do something about it. And the first step is acknowledgement. And like I said, don't feel bad because I've been new that I was supposed to be eating better than I actually am. Mom life. That's a big thing. And I kind of touched on that just a little bit. So my daughter, Ilan, is nine years old. She turned nine this year. She turned nine in January. Saint, my baby boy, is one. He turned one December, the end of December. Let me just say the second time around with that much of a gap, being a vet at this point, it's a lot easier than having like the babies kind of like back to back. I am thankful for the gap, but sometimes I wish she had like a sibling right there with her because a lot of the time she wants me to watch her play. She wants me to watch her make a video with her toys and all of the things. Mommy, can I come and chill with you? Like I'm chilling. I'm having my mommy time. She wants to come and chill with me. I'm watching Real Housewives of Potomac. You can't watch this. It is a struggle. It is very, very challenging. Like, I love my kids. Like, I love my kids. But can they get on my nerve? Yes. And if you want to really try to play me right now, you know them kids. Get, you know your kids get on your nerve. Like, let's be honest. But the good thing about it, and I was having really good banter with some of my um, neighbors at the Easter party. And they're also parents. And we were talking about how it's okay to... Tell your kid, go sit your ass down. Or it's okay to be annoyed by your kid. If you yell, apologize. So I've gotten to the point now where, and this isn't recent, like I've been doing this with my baby girl probably about two years now. If I raise my voice, we talk about it. Once I've calmed down, because it needs to be genuine. She can feel everything. For God's sake, she comes from me. So if I'm just telling her sorry, just because, and I'm still pissed, she's, she's gonna know. So I prefer to calm myself down and be in a good space and then Island and I can sit down and I'm like, come here, baby girl, listen, I'm sorry for yelling at you. However, you were really, really getting on mommy's nerves. Like I asked you not to do that. And it's as simple as that. The discipline part has been a lot better in the mummy world. School has been becoming, you know, a bit much. I really, at this point, prefer to go back to homeschool. But I have to see how my cards, you know, I'm going to have to really play my hand right. It depends on the cards that are dealt by the time 
you know, the summer comes for her. And that's when I'm really going to decide. But it depends on me and how this YouTube journey is going for me. Because if this really works, I'll be honest with y'all. This, if it works, this is what I'm doing. I'm not going back to anything else. She's not going back to school. This is what I'm going to do. And I'm not even going to say if it works. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I would, I would correct my verbiage. It's not about if it's going to work. I am going to make this work because this is what I'm really passionate about. I have so much to offer. Yet I'm holding it all to myself, being a disservice to my people, to the world. I'm being a disservice. I'm one of the brightest lights you will ever encounter in your life. But you will never know that if I don't stop my shit and post the dang on content. Like, put it out there. Just to get back on track with motherhood, I have to remind myself every single day that this isn't just for me. This is for my children too. Because as a mom, it's really, really challenging to just live life without any worry. And live life without any stress. Because you're always going to worry about your children. I do know I am going to be in a place in my life as a mother to where I don't worry about my kids and their safety. And I don't stress whether or not I'm doing a good job because I know that I am. And I know that I'm a great mom. Don't, don't get me wrong. Like I know I'm, I am an exceptional mom. I know that. And I know my babies love me. However, I know that I can do a lot better. And I know that there is a lot that has to be done, especially for my daughter, because she has seen me at my lowest of the low. So I owe her so much to ensure that her childhood is nothing but amazing. Like I went all out for Easter. She had such a great time. And that's why I do things like that. Yes, I am very festive. I love family gatherings. I love to host. I love to decorate. But ultimately, it's for my babies. It's for my kids. Anything that I do has to benefit my children and align with their future. So the biggest thing that I would really love for you to take away from this video is don't do anything that does not align with what it is that you want in this life. The first thing you do is figure out what do you want from this life because you can have anything. It's endless. You can have whatever you want. Figure out what that looks like. Do everything it takes to get that and live that life. Nothing else matters. Nothing. And that's also something that I teach my daughter. So when it comes to motherhood, that that's my biggest focus right now. Just becoming my best self, exiting this lazy girl era, getting my ish together so that me and my kids, we can just live freely and I don't have to fuss. I don't have to say no to things that I would rather say yes to. The last update that I really want to give y'all is channel updates. So if you have not already, be sure that you subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let's talk about it. Channel updates. So I am going to switch gears, obviously, because I am not in school right now. We're going to go into more my life. We're going behind the scenes into the world of Mirrors. I'm going to give you vlogs. I'm going to give you routines. I'm going to give you all of the things. And obviously, I want to share some of what I have learned in school. So there will be the skincare routines. Y'all know I've been doing my makeup for a long time. As far as my vlogs, I want to include the kids more. I was a little bit skeptical about it. But I do think that it would be pretty amazing, pretty cool, you know, just to show y'all how me and my kids really go through the day. And it will be realistic. I am not, I don't have time to fake anything. It takes too much. And I probably will never upload a video if I have to really try to orchestrate a whole thing like I got to it's just so much to offer I don't want to give away too much but that's just what to expect so you won't see any esthetician vlogs right now you won't see that but you will see skincare stuff so if you want to see that then obviously you should stick around but I'm just giving you a fair opportunity to decide whether or not you want to be here or not honestly you should be here for the person that you're meeting on the other side of your phone. The person in the video. The person that's putting this out there. Let me tell y'all, I got a shout out. A supporter, but also she's like a little sister to me. She is also a classmate. She's from Chicago. Her name is Erilyn. And she found the school because she found my channel and was watching my videos. So I have to shout out her. So you never know. She liked me for me. So... I would prefer you be here because you like me for me and you also like my content, but you like me first. Just like with a man. I need my man to fall in love with my heart first. Fall in love with this in here 
and then fall in love with you. I know this is a lot. However, fall in love with me in here, internally, and in the external, because you get love. That has been my life update, getting ready to exit this lazy girl era. I really hope that you enjoyed the video, and I will see y'all in the next one.